Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Fable 2. It's Coliseum time. Uh, so this, I believe this is the, the pretty much the very last thing uh, that we have to do in Fable 2. Uh, so it's going to be kind of a special episode of its own and this is probably going to be the last one. I don't really know... Uh, what's gonna happen in the Colosseum? My memory's not that great on the Fable 2 DLC, but we're gonna pop it open uh, and actually see uh, see what happens. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Um, it is unfortunate that I didn't go through and do all the demon doors. Uh, it's just, what's the point? <laughs> uh, it'd be cool to kind of see them all, but at the same time, like, there's really not much of a point to me to doing those or the gargoyles. Um, it's just kind of like extra fluff. Okay, so the Colosseum. Welcome to the Colosseum, the legendary combat arena built by the Theodore triplets. Score as many points as you can within the allotted time. Earn points by killing creatures and build multipliers by hitting flit switches. You can also earn bonus points by kicking chickens. The following rules apply. You may not use potions or change any inventory items during combat. So use the time before and after fights wisely. If you are knocked down, your multiplier will reset. Good luck. Coliseum Teddy, something I, okay. I, I pressed A before reading that last one. Uh, 15,000 points for the ultimate prize. Go big or go home. That's all I'm looking for. Keep trying, there's a different prize each time. Okay, cool. So this is definitely something that's repeatable and kind of adds uh, more things to do in Fable 2, I guess, after your experience is over. Uh, I don't remember this. We'll give this a crack at least one time. Give it a crack. Oh, beetles. The beetles. Okay, so if I get knocked down... Oh, these guys spit. So let's, uh... Let's avoid them. For sure. Hey! Stop chasing me! Good. <laughs> this pistol is actually not bad. Hit the flit switch. Okay. I think, like, my score doesn't get... Kick the chicken. I can't kick the chicken. I'm trying. For sure trying to kick the chicken. There it is. I got it. Okay, so maybe I'm I'm allowed to take damage, but we got to be careful with that because we're not allowed to use potions. So I'm not really sure how the uh, the rounds work, but I'm really hoping that to get away from me, you stupid beetles! Here we go. If I can just get straight people and just get headshots on them, that that's. That's obviously going to be the best strategy here. Just <laughs> bob and weave, bob and weave. Duck and move, duck and move. Alright, so I'm going to slow down time. If I could turn back time. If I could find a way. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, anyway... I want to pop off headshots on these guys. If I can, and get this flip switch, good. I only have, like, 
2,000 points. <laughs> Not great. For sure. We gotta get this chicken over here. Cool, okay. Good. So, we need to figure out a better way to do this. So, we're gonna slow down time, and oh, we're gonna use our, we're gonna work our magic. I think that's the the way to go, because we want to get rid of as many enemies as possible in one go. And I definitely think that this is the way to do it. No, we cannot. We just cannot get Valverine right now. No! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just got destroyed, holy crap. Bonus points. Oh, I was, I didn't think that I was gonna lock on to the, uh, the Balverine. If I had known, if I had known, I would have tried to avoid it better. All right, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I've lost my train of thought because I'm just trying to fucking weave right now. Uh, if I had known that I would have locked onto that white Valverine, I just would have let fire. But I thought I was going to run into or target one of the bandits or whatever. Can I get a freaking uh, something or other? Now, there is also an Easter egg in... There is also an Easter egg in here. And it's, it has to do with, like, the teddy bears or something like that. There's something about it. Yeah, and may the Coliseum teddies guide your hand. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's, like, hidden teddy bears around the map. Can you stop, Valverine? Let's get rid of this Valverine if we can. There we go. Son of a what? Uh, okay. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars, mother. Okay, shoot for the moon. Okay, let's rip off a... Level 5, like, fire deal. I want to slow this down, and let's see if we can find what they mean by the moon. I want to hit this flip switch if I can. Please hit the flip switch. Oh, now you're going to lock onto the flip switch instead of the enemy? Can I hit that thing? Thank you. Shoot for the moon. Even if you, you'll miss, you'll hit the stars. So let's... Blow this down. Is that it? Am I done? Okay. Dog tricks begging. Shoot for the moon. Okay. Oh, I got a luxury cupboard. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Take me to the stars, maybe? Please? Okay, there's a teddy bear sign up there. Let's actually just take a peek here and see, like, what's up. If there's anything else. I'm kind of, I'm just curious, because I want to get this to work.
but I kind of forgot that this was a thing. I probably should have done some more setup for this episode, actually. Huh. Shoot for the moon, even if you miss... Okay, let's try to do it while a, the tournament is actually going on. Shoot for the moon, even if you miss yada yada yada. Okay. Right. Okay. Moon. Uh, okay. Interesting. I don't know why that's not working. Maybe it means something else? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, we'll try this one more time. I don't get it though. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. I mean, the freaking owl. Can you guys not? Can you guys just not, please? Uh, I'd like to land amongst the stars, please. I'm not... I honestly have no idea what any of that means. And I don't know how to do it. Shoot for the moon. I mean, that seems very obvious, right? Like, shoot for the moon, dude. <laughs> Huh. Alright, uh, we'll try it again, I guess, maybe? Maybe the moon has to be in a particular place. You know what, after this round, we might do another episode just to see if we can get that to work. Or maybe I'll just pause this episode. Maybe I'll just die here. Let's just die here. Somebody kill me. Kill me! One of you. Somebody hit me. One of you hit me! You, with the gun! Shoot me! There we go. Okay. Oh, that doesn't work. I gotta keep do. I gotta keep doing it? Oh, uh, okay. I thought I wasn't allowed to use potions during the the rounds, but whatever. All right, well, I'm just gonna rip off some stuff. This guy on stilts just has complete immunity to my flame job. Yeah, he does. Interesting. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's interesting. I did not know that the still guys have immunity to, like, ground spells. Which, it makes sense if you think about it. But I had no idea. I just had no idea. Yeah, suck on the flame job. I think I did a little bit... I think I'm doing a little bit better this round, even though I've, like, screwed around most of the round, being honest. I gotta get rid of these stilt guys. They're just kind of taking up space at this point. Can I lock on, please? Lock-on mode in... 
Banshee. Here we go. So it actually tells you when you get a high score. That's kind of cool. Get Rex, Banshee. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was a flip switch. Okay. Alright, let's do that. These guys are kind of kicking my butt. Yeah, I have no idea, guys. I have no idea how that works. You think it would be relatively simple. But I guess not. Alright, let's ruin some Hollow Man Day. Oh, or, okay, or they're gonna ruin my day, that's fine. Alright, this kind of sucks. Let's go into, let's do this and see if we can just rip off some magic, because we're not too far away from the grand prize. I think the grand prize was like 15,000 points, right? And that's what we just hit with that, so... So I'm just gonna rip off a couple spells. Or not. Here we go. For some reason, it wasn't working. Only 18 seconds left. Oh, we got one of these guys now. These guys suck. I hate these guys. Alright. We just gotta duck and bob and weave. <laughs> you are injured. I'm injured. Oh, I am injured. Okay. So we got 20,000 points. Set a new high score. Yada, yada, yada. Third prize. Roy. Second prize. Uh huh. Dresser for successor. What does this do? Your weapon causes electrical to gain its benefits. Okay. Ooh, ultimate prize. Hit me with it. The Royal Scepter! What does that do? Uh, though, pri though, it's pr though its primary purpose is in ornamental staff, denoting its wielder's royalty, it serves just as well as a clomping instrument. After all, kings and queens are notorious for their love of splitting skulls. Sweet! Okay, so we got that. Um... All right, guys. Uh, well, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take a quick break, and I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna go do some googling and see if I can figure out this teddy bear thing. If I can, we'll try to do it in another round here. Uh, give me just a second. All right, guys. Here we go. Uh, I have figured it out. I looked it up. Uh, yes, I am a little bit cheaty, uh, and that's that's a okay with me. Um, there are three teddy bears hidden around the arena uh, that you can get to. If you get all three of them, you get a special die, apparently. Now, two of the teddy bears are relatively easy to get. Um, however, some of them, there's one of them that is not. So the first one is actually sitting on this statue's head, as you can see, right semi kind of below the moon so that's what the telescope means uh there we go so this is the wizard teddy uh this cuddly bear represents the most talented of the three founding uh brothers of the coliseum alvin alvin theodore uh he was an accomplished magic user and perhaps the two numbers sewn into his wizard's hat are part of a numerical spell they are one and a nine. Remember that one and a nine. Remember that one and a nine. It is important. Uh, now, the other one 
is right behind this door. That should have worked. <laughs> that should work. Uh... So we gotta light these candles on fire with an inferno spell. Okay, that one's lit. We got that one lit. Okay, let's go for this one. I don't know if it has to be a level five inferno spell or not. You gotta light the candles with an inferno spell. There we go. And the other teddy in here, this one is the, the uh, King Teddy. Uh, this rare bear represents the eldest of the three founding brothers of the Colosseum, Augustus uh, Theodore. There are two numbers tattooed on its fur, an eight and a five. Now, here is the tricky one. There is a third bear. Uh, so, let me consult the old cell phone here there is a third bear here and i'm not going to make too many attempts at this um there's a third bear with the one in the nine sewn into the wizard bear and the eight and the five tattooed on the uh king bear or whatever you have to get a score of 1985 exactly exactly um so the best way to do this, apparently the hobs, the small hobs are worth five points and the uh, bandit leaders are worth 30. Uh, so we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna try. Uh, the, the guide that I'm looking at suggests not to get any multipliers. So we're gonna try do that uh unfortunately i don't know what the beetles are worth okay so we want to avoid that chicken and hopefully once we're done the beetles okay we might okay uh this one might be difficult to get on the first try Kind of hoping that once we get through all the beetles, we'll have a score in a multiple of five. But that might be easier said than done. We'll see. I'm going to see what I can do. This is not really something that I feel that I'll be able to do in one try. So if we can do it in one try, that'd be great. If not, you guys know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna have to buy your own copy of Fable because I don't think I'm gonna spend that much time trying to get this done. Okay, so this is going good so far. Just keeping an eye on the score. This scepter is ridiculous. I gotta see this thing. Oh yeah, we can't do anything between or whatever. But this thing does a lot of damage for some reason. So those small guys are worth five. There is... Uh, so, you gotta, like, melee. Meleeing things is in, like, a multiple of five, I believe. No, please don't explode. That's not nice. Uh, if you shoot things, it's a multiple of seven, I think? Do not explode on me. Do not. Stop that. Oh, I have a nine somehow. Oh, man, that's gonna be a real bummer, man. Oh, I don't know how to get... Okay, I'm just all sorts of glitched out right now. Can you guys, you stupid Valverines, get out of here. Stop, stop, 
stop. Stop. These things are gonna kill me if I just if I don't do anything. Oh man, I cannot get rid of this one. I'm uneven for some reason. Somewhere down the line, I got a... Mm, Valverines? God, I hate these things. No! T listen. Listen here. I'm gonna shoot that guy in the face. I, I don't think I can get rid of this one. Can you guys seriously, like... But stop locking onto the flint switch. What is this game right now? Guys, I don't know. This is not great. I don't think I'm going to get it. I was doing good. But I just cannot get rid of this one. Okay, there we go. That guy was worth three. I'm going to die, though. Yeah, that's fine, man. I don't want to face all of you. I just want to kill this Valverine. I'm... Guys... Guys. God, oh my god, I cannot. I am getting so frustrated right now. Come on, guys. Can I just shoot this Belverine? There we go. Okay. Holy crap, man. Stop locking onto the flip switch. Guys. Game. Please. Okay, there we go. We're at a 40. Okay, okay, we're... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> slow, let's, slow, let's slow down time. Okay, that somehow... I guess... Uh, that's just kind of... Nope, there it is. That's 1995. We went 10 over. Alright, guys. Uh, so, anyway, as I'm sure you can kind of see, this would really kind of take out, uh, take a lot of planning uh, to do in a YouTube video. It would take me uh, probably a really long time in order for me to get all of that done. Uh, so, for that reason, I think I'm going to leave out doing the third teddy bear. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, but at least you guys know how to do it. If you own your own copy of Fable 2, maybe you can go through and do it. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, that is the end of the episode. And also, this marks the end. I am frozen in place. <laughs> this marks the... Oh, 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 because I did this. How do I get rid of this now? Okay. Wait, how do I get rid of this menu? How do I get rid of the spell menu? There we go. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, guys, that is the end of the episode, and that is the end of the series. Uh, so I've done everything in the series that I have wanted to do. Uh, so I definitely appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Uh, we will be picking up on the next episode with the first episode of Fable 3. So we're going to complete the trilogy at this point why not uh so i will see you guys in fable 3 thank you guys so much for watching the series thank you guys so much for watching this episode if you did enjoy it please definitely leave a like and a comment below it helps me out quite a bit and while you're at it go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already i do put out daily gaming videos so be sure to do that so you don't miss anything and i will see you guys on the next episode